The news regarding the recent hack of the Ministry of Education, MOES Mobile Guardian app, which affected 13,000 students, has taken a troubling turn. A Redditor, posting under the username hopeful underscore chocolate 080, revealed that they had alerted MOE about critical security vulnerabilities in the app as early as two months before the breach occurred. The Redditor shared the contents of an email sent to MOE in late May, in which they highlighted a serious vulnerability involving improper access control. This flaw allowed unauthorized individuals to access and modify all data within the Mobile Guardian system, potentially within a mere three minutes. Despite repeated follow-up emails, the Redditor expressed frustration at MOE's lack of response and their failure to address the issue adequately. It wasn't until after the hack took place that the seriousness of the matter was acknowledged. This incident raises significant concerns about the effectiveness of MOE's cybersecurity practices and the speed at which they respond to potential threats. Minister for Education Chan Chun Singh addressed Parliament, stating that MOE takes data protection very seriously. He emphasized that IT service providers are contractually obligated to protect personal data and that an investigation is ongoing. However, the Redditor's claim suggests that MOE had ample warning about the risks, yet took no decisive action until it was too late. This situation is particularly alarming as it follows a previous data breach in April, which exposed the names and email addresses of parents and teachers from several Singaporean schools. The failure to act on this vulnerability has sparked widespread concern among students, parents, and cybersecurity experts. It has also led to questions about whether the ministry is adequately equipped to handle the digital security of its systems and protect the personal data of students. This incident is a reminder of the importance of taking cybersecurity warnings seriously and acting promptly to address potential vulnerabilities. It also raises an important question for us all. Should organizations be held more accountable for their responses to reported security threats? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth news coverage and analysis.